Hi everybody, we are here today with Hannes Amitsreiter. He's the CEO of Vodafone Germany and we're going to talk to him about his role as the CEO. We're going to talk to him about his organization and how he envisages the future of telecommunications. Hi Hannes, welcome Hi. To, our, to our Tech Leaders video series. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Um, we'd like to know a little bit more about Vodafone, specifically also Vodafone in Germany. Could you summarize your company's mission? I mean, we, we started a few years ago to really be the pacemaker uh, and being the creator of a gigabit society. This gigabit society is uh, not just talking about gigabit, the speed, it is also thinking about how can we shape uh, society, how can we shape community. And uh, so we think about society, about a highly networked, very optimistic, because I believe it is very important for the future, and also humanistic. Uh, approach and that means that we believe in people and that we also believe that technology should support people and not the other way around and um, Therefore that's something we started I think three years ago and we are now in the middle of execution We are now starting gigabit speed. We are now starting deploying the right networks. We are now I, I also think that we brought it to the next level in Germany in discussing a new and highly connected society and the opportunities deriving out of uh, digitization at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, Vodafone, uh, uh, what I really believe and, and fully believe in it, we have the coolest brand in the world. So talking about telecommunication and talking about branding, talking about services, I think we are ahead of the crowd. I really believe that we are um, realizing things others are not thinking about. We are ahead in IoT. We are world market leader in IoT. We are ahead in the executions around entertainment platforms. And, and therefore, I think we are well positioned. And on the other hand, um, always try to push the limits. Always try to think uh, new ways. Always try to be ahead always try to be first. And uh, we are now entering a very interesting phase. It's, it's about 5G, it's about gigabit networks, it's about speed, it's about fiber. I mean, all of that enable us to bring totally new services um, to the country, but also to the world. And um, we believe in diversity. We believe in customer obsession in a very positive way so that we really take it serious, that we listen to customers. And um, we are one of the biggest players, of course, in telecommunication in the world. We are one of the biggest players in exploiting new opportunities, which are based on telecommunication. That is Internet of the Things, IoT. That is clearly the entertainment platform, because we believe it will not only be at the TV in the living room, but also entering cars. Uh, will also be used in the future in trains and, and other opportunities. So, I mean, uh, I believe it's a clearly value-based company. I believe it's um, a company which gives room to people. We want to be people to be themselves. Um, they should have the opportunity to create, to build, to convince. And uh, we should be the framework for that. And uh, I think a super cool framework. I mean, it started off that uh, a young boy sh uh, showed up here, and uh, Robert Böhme, and, and he came up with the idea, we want to fly to the moon. And this was like, wow, 49 years after the big John F. Kennedy said, and we chose to fly to the moon, and not because it's easy, but because it's hard. And this guy sh shows up here and, and is telling us, I want to fly to the moon. I have a moon ferry, and I want to fly to the moon with the uh, space rocket of Elon Musk with the Falcon X mm -hmm. and just shoot it to the moon. What he needs is connectivity there because he needs to connect the moon ferry with the rover crawling around on the moon. Mm -hmm. And uh, this connectivity, you know, in former days it was built by NASA, costed a billion, and he wanted to have just normal industrial sized and standard Fuji. Mm -hmm. And we said, yeah, we join in and we built the network. Mm -hmm. So. This moon ferry, which will fly to the moon next year, will have Vodafone 4G. It will be the only 4G on the moon. So we do have a monopoly then. And uh, therefore, it's a super fascinating opportunity for us. Uh, we reduce the size and the weight of uh, a base station 
to minimum weight. It's now 950 gram, which is the smallest and lightest base station in the world. Mm -hmm. It will be really tested because it will travel at the speed of 16,000 kilometers per hour. It will be a uh, temperature difference 150 plus and 160 minus. Uh, you know, that's not the normal thing for a base station. You normally travel on a, on a truck. Uh, so the truck is going, I don't know, 70 kilometers per hour, maybe 100. Uh, so it, it is really a difference to what we have here on Earth. And for us, it's a fascinating thing. It is very much about pioneering, doing things you wouldn't think about, and uh, trusting in people, trusting in also our skills and know-how. And so therefore, for us, it, was, it is an adventure. For us, it is an opportunity to push the limits. For us, it's, it's an opportunity to also have super high reach. We all remember the Stratos uh, jump from Felix Baumgartner. This is now again an activity which can be seen all over in the world. It's uh, again a cooperation with uh, Red Bull. Uh, and I really believe that's something, it's, it's just worth exploring. And so that's why we came into this project. That's why we help and support Robert because we believe it's a fantastic idea. Vodafone was the first company really believing in a global brand. So it's a clearly global brand. We are operating under the brand of Vodafone everywhere. We are operating in, in Ghana, South Africa, Albania, Romania, Turkey, India, New Zealand, Australia, Mozambique, uh, Italy, Spain, um, Germany, UK. And um, so this global approach and really being international. For instance, on this campus here in Düsseldorf, we do have more than 70 uh, nationalities working on this campus. So really take it serious with uh, diversity. Uh, same with um, women in management, also there, 25%. That's double uh, the number you normally would find in tax companies. So this, you know, that, that makes us different because uh, we have clear values we want to lift them, we want to support, and um, therefore, I mean, the same programs for LGBT, we just, we, we find that it's a an, an really important thing to give room to people and to develop them. And, and they should not spend energy in hiding anything, but should spend energy in doing the things they like and love. And uh, that's also something which we love to enable and which is differentiating us from, from other companies and from uh, people thinking different. And so this openness, this um, openness to technology, this openness to ideas, this openness uh, for trying things, I think is important because uh, if you always think you're right, then you're not right. And uh, therefore this is uh, and should be a company which is a framework. And this framework and base and platform should enable people and should it also enable great projects. And I think we just heard about one which I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the latest and recent one clearly is the acquisition of uh, Unity Media, so the Liberty deal. Uh, it's now being filed at the moment. So this month we file it in Brussels and therefore work on really getting it done and, and come to a closing, which hopefully hopefully comes uh, within the next month. I mean, that's a big thing. It's an acquisition with a value of more than 18 billion. So it's one of the biggest acquisitions ever in telecommunications over the last five years or even more. And therefore that's exciting because it's changing the nature of our business. It's changing our company and it's changing the country. It's changing Germany. And uh, what we want to do is not to just talk about gigabit society, but to offer gigabit to everybody. And so we'll offer gigabit speed, which is like really high speed, to 65% of all people living in Germany uh, at every place where we have some cable. Our Vodafone cable and then in the future also the Unity cable. So I mean that, that for me was one of the very big things. In between, I mean it was the gigabit program. Uh, really believing in that vision of a gigabit society, but also creating and shaping and drafting a gigabit company. And what does it mean? It means bold moves. It means the coolest brand and like really good advertising moves. It's uh, very much about also, it's about emotions, it's about lifestyle, it's about feeling, it's about uh, understanding customers, all of that. 
And uh, I mean, it's a combination of, I think, great activities. And at the end, it's always a journey. And this journey is either successful or not. Now, for the moment, it's three years um, of success, which is great. But we never take anything for granted. So we are now after the race is before the race. And so now we start again. So what is the next idea? What is the next project? What can we do better? What can we do more? How can we convince the customers? What can technology do for people? And, and what I really like is our purpose. And we really try to follow that purpose. And that is uh, connecting for a better future. Connecting is at the heart, at the core of what we are doing. And for a better future is broad enough to connect people and give them great smartphones. But it's also broad enough to connect machines, to um, generate systems and technology and services that we avoid any traffic accidents. So we would like to see a future where technology is supporting that, for instance, in the, in the car traffic areas, there is no crash anymore, so saving lives. And, and I, I really believe that this perf purpose allows all of that. And it's just fascinating to see that sometimes it's just pure uh, smartphone, then it's connecting a car, then it's bringing entertainment into the car, then it's uh, connecting some machines in industrial areas, then uh, it's about artificial intelligence, uh, really providing intelligence, for instance, in corporations with ThyssenKrupp we have. So it's a variety of things. We connect everything and we want to connect everything, but not just connect, to really, what we say, create a better future or uh, bring some sense to what we are doing there. Move products and move them into services. So I mean, these are new things they are starting now. It's not just selling a machine or a product. It is really in making it different, connect it, make it smarter, make it uh, more meaningful to people. And, and that's the business we're in. Telecommunication will change. It needs to develop. Uh, it is very much, I mean, we already moved from old circuit switched um, telecommunication into IP based. We are now in the middle of IP based. It's now the next generation. It's, it's about 5G. So uh, we need to discuss what uh, is possible with 5G. On one thing, it's more speed. We are used to that. So it's one gigabit or 10 gigabit, so faster. This is one. The second one is latency super low latency, one millisecond. That's the speed, how information travels in our bodies. So it's like real, real time, which is fantastic. We don't know what we will do with that, but I think it will be great. And um, there are other things also beamforming. It's like uh, antennas following you. So it's an antenna, which is not just up there somewhere on the base station, but it really follows you. And then there's a learning system behind. We know the way you're going to work every day. So we can uh, predict where you're going and we can improve quality then. So I mean, these, these are things which are, it, it's not, they, they will not come, we, we do it already. So I mean, there are developments, we are in the middle of the developments, some, some no, some not. Then core slicing, using uh, bandwidth and uh, having service level agreements on that bandwidth. So I mean, these are opportunities which are to come. So and that means that um, the whole industry is changing. It is very much about uh, not just um, putting smartphones into the markets and make uh, people use their phones in, in calling and surfing, but also connecting machines. It's much more about the industry usage. It's much more about uh, offering services. It's much more uh, connecting things and generating intelligence and an and, and intelligent environment. So it could be a smart home. It could be smart entertainment, uh, very much about learning systems. So artificial intelligence is clearly something which will change totally the industry, but not only the industry, it will totally change society also. It's totally changing. I mean, in the past, we didn't really need them because, you know, it was in circuit switched environment. It's, it's a, a kind of an... Um, yeah, very single focus, single dimensional approach, but this is changing now. IP means open platform. And we are now moving into an environment where software matters a lot. And it's not just about big data and artificial intelligence, that is super important, but also about uh, how can we be faster? How can we work agile? It's, of course, about design thinking. It's about how do we produce products? Uh, I mean, in the past it was, um, 
in a, in a very monodimensional way, the product manager developed and then we launched it. And it's now much more agile, so we are testing, so it's A-B testing, it's, it's, it's thinking about uh, how can we be faster. We, we are organized in squads, in tribes, in, in trying to be closer to the customer, trying to better reflect all the different departments. Because in the past it was like department A is sitting in uh, floor 11, the other one in 13, the other one in 5, and they are now working together. And I think that's good because then you're closer to the customer and closer to decision. And that means you're faster. So, I mean, this is changing and uh, it's, it's fascinating because we are a relatively young industry coming out of the 90s. But um, others are younger. I mean, if you look at all the OTT players, they're younger and faster and we need to get faster that's why we need software that's why we need to get some flexibility in and that's why we need developers because uh, in the future we also changing our, our systems IT is changing we will have a DXL um, block in between and so if we develop applications they, are, they do not necessarily go and need to move into the backends but use the layer and this layer then gives us speed gives us opportunities gives us apps, gives us services, and uh, this is uh, how we want to change, and this is the approach we want to follow um, to have a great future. I think I would explain it to our five-year-old daughter, and I would say, I mean, uh, and, and um, easy to understand, uh, selling handys, call them handys, mobile devices, and also connecting things. So it is very much about connecting people and connecting things. So that's the core of what we are doing. Um, I think that that's it, what we are doing here. And uh, out of that, we can derive, of course, thousands, millions of services. But that would be too complicated to explain to a five-year-old. I think, I mean, if there's any telecommunication company in the world, Vodafone is one of the fittest, coolest, most advanced company. And uh, it is the most international. I like and love working for an international company. It's so many nationalities, it's so many different cultures. It's uh, the opportunities. I mean, you, you understand what's going on in Turkey. You know what's going on in India. You see what's going on in Egypt, uh, Eastern Europe. So I mean, that, that mix is just fascinating. That, that's what I like. And then also the opportunities. I mean, it's really being at the forefront of development and, and being ahead of others. It's just a good thing. I don't want to be with laggards or slow movers. And, and therefore, I think it's the right place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I very much like the GigaCube, which we brought to the market. I mean, it's super successful on the market. So, I mean, I think that's a good one. But there are also so many other things. I, I, I love a lot our activities in the car industry. So I think we are the most advanced uh, operator moving into the car uh, industry area. We are also a participant in the 5G Automobile Association as the only telecommunication company. We are owning a plant in Italy. That's our only plant producing hardware. We don't have any other hardware produced anywhere. But this one is producing in Varese in Italy. Um, products and uh, it's telematic boxes for cars. So in every Porsche uh, worldwide, there's a box uh, with Vodafone SIM card. So I mean, it's it's uh, a thing we developed, and now out of that, we are now developing a vertical and really drilling all our know-how into the automotive sector. So I mean, here we are, I think, pretty advanced, and that's also a fascinating area because that combination of you uh, will call in the future a car with your phone, and you use it. And I mean, all the, the, the opportunities deriving out of that, I uh, talked about security already. Uh, it's about uh, entertainment uh, being brought to the car, but it's also about video conferencing in the car. If you have autonomous driving, you get some time back. Use it wisely. We'll help on that one. I personally love innovation. So, I mean, for me, it's just, it, it, it's fun uh, seeing what's going on in the world. It's fun seeing what technology is to bring to the table. 
uh, I'm fascinated by, I don't know what the cable labs are bringing out and, and that they are working on super short latency on cable. I like the new technologies like 5G, narrowband, IoT. I mean, all of that. It, I just like it. And, and uh, I'm also super interested in what's going on in society and uh, about ideas coming from startups. I think it's so many ideas around, some super good ones, some bad ones. Uh, hopefully the super good ones are winning. Uh, you don't have a guarantee for that, but uh, it's a, the probability is a higher one. And so therefore that combination of, of uh, opportunities, I think they've never been as big as now. And uh, it has never been as global as now. And therefore everybody has a good chance to win a global market. And um, that, that's what I like, and that's my uh, attitude and approach towards uh, innovation. And I also want to see that here in the company that we have a super good innovation team and that everybody's open for new ideas. And uh, what I don't like is, uh, no, but we always did it that way. I mean, that's hampering development, that's hampering innovation. And therefore, being open, listen, speak to people, leave your industry, but please leave it, don't stay in the, in the industry uh, and get some cross-industry um, information, know-how and, and learn, listen. I mean, on one hand, we have, of course, a super advanced uh, development uh, system for our management or for young people. So, I mean, we do have that in, in our Vodafone group. Uh, but it's also, again, about... Um, giving a chance to people. I mean, if there's somebody really good, give him or her more. Uh, the next challenge. And test uh, and try. And so therefore, as I said before, we want to be a platform where you can jump from. And uh, if you jump, up to you. But if you jump, jump. And then try to jump higher. And then try to get the next level. And uh, therefore, I think it's a good opportunity on one hand to work uh, uh, really international. I mean, our um, um, chief uh, IT officer, he was working for Kenya before. So, I mean, he was working in Africa. Uh, our CTO is coming from the Netherlands. Our strategy officer is coming from Bulgaria. And so, I mean, it's really a mix. And if you want to go abroad, if you want to uh, live in New Zealand, you can live in New Zealand. And uh, so, I mean, that's an opportunity. You don't have that everywhere. And being embedded in a, in a really uh, big company, it just gives you some more opportunities. It doesn't mean that you have to use it, but you can. And if you can, it's just, I think, a good feeling. What was the last great company event? I mean, it's always the Christmas parties. They're fantastic. They're really good. And uh, I mean, during summer, we have very often some summer events, uh, which we enjoy a lot. Uh, I mean, there are always some uh, events we have. I mean, uh, the last one I remember was that I uh, invade, inv invited our team to the Salzburg Festival, to the Classic Festival which we enjoyed a lot. I mean, it was a small team, and so I invited them, and we met there. Um, they paid it on their own, but we had a great time. And then we had barbecue at my place, and, and uh, we very much enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. I think it's always about people. So it's important to have the right people, uh, because you want to enjoy work. I mean, you spend quite some hours every day there and therefore it should be enjoyable. And, and that's very much about people. I mean, the, the rest of it, architecture, etc. it's helpful if it's nice, but uh, I mean, aesthetics is important for me. Uh, but uh, I think the more important thing is, is people. And if you get along well with people, it's just more fun. I think uh, there's a lot to gain because there's a lot to win and uh, many, many projects totally new coming to us. As I said before, I mean, we are circuit switched in the past and now IP based developers, software programmers. We have a team sitting in, in the factory in Berlin. So we have a developer team sitting there uh, in a company 
uh, we found it, we call it Crush. We also have in Düsseldorf here, we have our developer team. Uh, they are working on the app. So for instance, um, around 60% of our customers are using our Vodafone app and we are building more and more services into it. And I mean, in the future, you will manage services via your app. And that means that you need to, de to develop more and more and more. It needs to be more and more intelligence. It needs to be more and more integrated. And it should give the customer the opportunity to interact. If it's a simple, I change the address. If it's a simple, I turn off the roaming of my kids. If it's a simple um, connection to your uh, V-home, so that's a smart home, all of that. So, I mean, th that's the work we are just starting and beginning. And then we have a super big, uh, big data artificial intelligence team using head-up com computing. Why? Because we need to use the best tools available in the world to move ahead. And, and so, I mean, it's interesting and, and we're starting. It's always more fun if something is growing and starting than if you're in a market which is totally crowded and, and everybody's doing the same and it's just about price. I mean, it's, it's now, it's a race. It's, it's, it's uh, the, the one who's better, the one who is identifying um, the route into the future better will win on the market. That's what I believe. It's many opportunities. Uh, I mean, one thing I mentioned, it's optimizing the network. It's just learning. Uh, we learn what's your way to the company, to your office in the morning. We are learning where do we have the disconnects. We are learning how we can serve better customers. We are learning what might be a product for a certain target group or persons. I mean, all of that. Use the data. We, have, we are sitting on so much data. We just need to learn how to manage it and how to get, make any uh, useful services out of that data. But the, the, the wealth of data is enormous. And uh, is it true that data is the new oil? Yeah, I think there's something to it. Uh, but it is very much about what can you do with it because it needs to be a benefit for the customer, not for us, but for the customer. If that's the case, then we've done the work rightly. Mm -hmm.